When it comes to sharing the work you've done in Katana with your team, there are several ways to do this. If you want to share your entire Katana recipe, for example, you can simply use save or save as from the menu bar and then send a path to that recipe to anyone who needs it. Although this will mean that any references to external files like alembic files or textures will need to be adjusted unless you are on the same network as the person you shared it with, or if it is just a self-contained recipe with no external references. You can also share specific parts of the recipe by simply copying the note and then pasting it in an email or any other communication application. Here, for example, I can copy paste this collection create note and paste it in a text editor to see that we can get a text representation of that note. You or anyone else can copy this back into Katana to get the exact same node with the same parameters. However, while both these methods have valid use cases, this isn't really the most efficient way to share work in a production environment. For example, what if you want to share work that will be used in multiple Katana recipes by several different people? Copy pasting a bunch of text around will be prone to user errors and it is not practical to keep updating this every time you make a change to your work. This is where live groups can be really useful. Let's say that you want to create a set of interactive render filters like we did in the last lesson for your whole team. And you want to share this with your team even though it could still be a work in progress. Let's select the interactive render filter node and press the G key to place the interactive render filter node inside a group node. If you click on the plus icon on the group node, you can see that this node has now been placed inside the group. You can also control and middle click to enter the group node. I personally like to use control middle click to enter a group as I find it a lot more easier to work with, especially when you have multiple nodes inside the group. You can exit the group by clicking on the home button in the node graph. Set the edit flag on the group node and let's rename this to interactive render filters group. If you click on the spanner icon at the top right corner, in the pop-up menu, choose convert to live group. You can now see that a lightning icon with an asterisk symbol next to the node. The lightning icon indicates that it is now a live group. When the lightning icon is yellow, it means that the contents inside the live group can be edited. The asterisk symbol next to it means that we have unpublished changes inside the live group. In fact, if you try to save your katana recipe by pressing Ctrl S hotkey, it won't allow you to save your recipe unless you publish your live group or discard the changes you made. You can publish it from this menu, but I'm going to click on cancel for now. Instead, click on the spanner icon again, and as you can see, the pop-up menu has now changed. Click on publish and finish editing contents. Navigate to a suitable directory and let's save this as interactive render filters. It will automatically add the live group extension. The lightning icon has turned gray and there is no longer an asterisk symbol next to it, which indicates that the live group is now published and it is also locked. So anyone who is using the live group cannot accidentally edit its contents. If you click on the plus symbol to show the contents inside, you can see that a lock icon appears on the node, indicating that the node inside can no longer be edited. Click on the spanner icon again, and you can see there is an option to edit the contents. Click on it to enable edit mode. And as you can see, the lock icon has disappeared and we are able to make changes to the node once again. You will need to publish the changes like we did before every time you want to save the changes you made inside the live group. Let's click on the spanner icon again, and this time, I'm just going to choose revert as I haven't made any changes that I want to keep. Doing this will revert the live group to its last save state. Now, let's have a look at why live groups are useful. I have a new Katana session here. Assume that this is someone else who will be using the live group that you sent them. There are multiple ways to load a live group. You can load it from the file menu in the menu bar and choosing import live group. Navigate to the directory where the live group is saved, select the live group and click accept. You can now place the imported node in your node graph. And if you click on the interactive render filters menu, you can see all the interactive render filters you have inside the group are now available in the new Katana session. When you import the live group from the file menu, the node is automatically named exactly what it was called when saving it on disk. The other way to import a live group is to press tab and create a live group node. Set the edit flag on this node and in the source parameter, browse to the directory where you have saved the live group. It's exactly the same as the previous method, except it doesn't inherit the name of the live group on disk. I'll delete the second live group for now, and let's look at some use cases. Let's go back to the original Katana script. 
I want to add an additional interactive render filter. Let's edit the contents to activate edit mode. I'll control middle click to enter the live group and set the edit flag on the interactive render filter node. Click on the plus icon to add a new interactive render filter. I won't be adding any functionality to it this time, but let's call this filter test filter and call the category test. Press Ctrl S to save and this time, let's publish it from within this menu by choosing Publish Live Group. Override the same live group you saved before. If you are in a studio environment, it's quite likely you will have access to a versioning system that you can take advantage of. But in this case, I'll just overwrite my existing live group. If I check my interactive render filters menu on the second Katana session, you will still not be able to see any changes. But let's flush all the caches by clicking on this icon. Go back to the interactive render filters menu, and as you can see, our test filter is now available to be used. This is a really powerful workflow where you can place any part of your Katana recipe inside a live group, share it with others, and have it update for everyone using the live group without much effort. There are many reasons for using live groups in your Katana workflow. While we looked at one example in this lesson, there are many ways you can use live groups to improve your Katana workflow. For example, you can standardize all AOVs that are typically used in your studio's rendering pipeline by wrapping this in a live group and any changes to this setup can be updated at any time with a few clicks. Or you could create a material library that becomes much easier to maintain when using live groups. In the next lesson, we will learn to set up materials and bake them into a look file.